What's up y'all, my name is Arnold and I recently graduated Yale with a degree in theater studies and political science. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how my experiences working part-time at a restaurant in high school contributed to me getting into Yale. So for my sophomore year of high school, my dad got me an amazing gift, an amazing birthday present, and that was to work as a host at the Japanese restaurant that he's been working at his whole entire life. So here's some important context. I come from a first generation low-income background, so to be honest, at 15 years old, I was actually really excited to work because that meant that I could start to make money myself to support myself and my family. And honestly, during the time for my freshman and sophomore years of high school, I wasn't really that involved in extracurriculars, so I didn't really mind it. My schedule at the restaurant was working at least two to three times per week, usually at least every Saturday and Sunday. This meant that for three to four years, for most of my high school career, I pretty much worked every single weekend and never had a free weekend for myself. I worked even during the summers, like literally all year round. And in terms of my experience, I think overall, I actually did enjoy it. It was really nice being able to see my dad work firsthand and working with friends and family, as well as learning from other people and bantering back and forth with people from different backgrounds. Every single night we would end a long day of work by walking to the McDonald's right across from us and eating a quarter pounder, getting some free ice cream. But also at the moment, it was pretty brutal having to work every single Saturday and Sunday after a busy school week. Like I'd have to be out of the house by 3 p.m. and I wouldn't be back home until earliest 10 or 11 p.m. And I started off as a host, so my main job at first was simply greeting people and giving them menus and sitting them down. And then eventually I became a busboy and then a food runner and a food expediter, where basically I would read out orders in the back of the kitchen and make sure that all the orders would be served, coordinate everything that is being cooked. So I learned a lot of responsibility and it was definitely pretty physically exhausting, especially being back there with all the oils and all the heat. But in terms of how it contributed to Yale, one of my common up essays actually was based on my experiences working at the Japanese restaurant. If you wanna watch me read it and embarrass myself, click on this video over here. I read some of my common app supplemental essays, but here are some excerpts. Breaking the fourth wall, 4.45 p.m. Feelings of uneasiness controlled my body as I snuck into my restaurant's bathroom. My boss promoted me to a daunting position, a food expediter. I had to commute orders throughout the whole entire restaurant, especially being the head of the kitchen. Trying to allow for some positive thinking, I exited the bathroom, opening up the door to six kids anxiously waiting in line for their turns. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. But essentially working part-time at this restaurant was a very huge responsibility, a huge extracurricular that I wrote about and also listed on my common app. I did it every single week for over three years straight for at least 15 hours every single week. And this is super helpful because on my college application, it provided really good context of my first generation low income background. Like it's like actual proof that, hey, I'm broke. I need to make money to support myself and my family. And I also learned about discipline, consistency, grit, and commitment because top colleges want people who are responsible, who can commit to something long-term. And this is actual proof that I did something for a long period of time consistently. It also instilled a lot of social skills within me because I'd be interacting with diverse people across many different ways, not only in age, um, cultural background. I had to interact with my colleagues and my customers. And once again, I was the youngest person working at this restaurant. It also taught me to be grateful. Like I'm very thankful for my manager who hired me in the first place. I'm thankful for all the coworkers that made it such an enjoyable time. And it also gave me a different perspective on how hard my dad has worked. So I'm very grateful for my dad for working there pretty much every single day for so many years. And that level of discipline and commitment also transferred itself to other extracurriculars that I did in college, such as being the class president, becoming lead actor for my theater club. So overall, because I was able to write about it, listed as an important extracurricular, and it also provided a lot of context for my first generation low income background and taught me so many amazing skills that influenced all other aspects of my life. Working at this restaurant definitely contributed a lot in terms of getting into Yale. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want more stuff like this, please let me know and I'll see you in the next one.